Uh, there's a heck of a lot of difference between uh, doing Shakespeare and Sam Shepard. Really that moment, lost forever, and it was because of this Let's moment. put it that way. <laughs> How is it working with uh, great writers, you know, like Graham Yost and, and working on this really great material as an actor? I'm really lucky. I don't know what I'm going to do on my next show because I hear that I'm really, I've gotten really spectacular because it's all on the page. But a lot of it is on the page and I can just show up and be like play without, you know, the stress and the, you know, the turmoil of the writing not being there. It's very thoughtful, it's very intelligent, it's funny. It's dramatic and it's all of the things that you know, an actor wants to play with. Is there a key to writing a cop show um, where the cops or the marshals are more human or more relatable? It's not just firefights. Well, the, the key, honestly, just comes back to Elmore Leonard. Um, his writing, his books, uh, the way he approaches characters and stories is just something we always You're being too humble, keep... though. You're the, you're the guy who writes the individual episodes. Well, I'm not being too humble because we always think about Elmore and his approach to things. Um, how do you make it real and yet funny and unexpected um, and violent and exciting? And those are just things we keep shooting for. I hope we're going to see more of you. I assume so. We will see more of me. Um, she, uh, you know, she has some secrets that she's hiding, um, and they get revealed a little bit later on in the season. Um, she's a really fun character. She's, uh, you know, comes across as a Christian, you know, God-fearing girl, but uh, she pulls out some tricks. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Unjustified. No one's ever exactly what what they said. That's so true. They uh, they write their characters very well. Complex. <laughs> What do you so so? What do you look for in a screenplay? But you know, I like something that's interesting and that's a little bit left of center. You know, something that doesn't. It's not uh, you know run of the mill. I like things that make you think and um, create new ideas and and Justify definitely does that. You know, they are uh, they're edgy, they're funny. Um, it's, it's a great show. I, I, I am prob I probably have more screenwriter friends than I do actor friends, to be quite honest with you. I, I am so uh, enamored with the process that, that writers go through and generating ideas uh, on a, you know, while you're staring at a blank piece of paper um, is something that still I, confounds me. Um, so, you know, to, to, to be on this show now where Elmore Leonard's dialogue is so much about poetry. It's so much about what's being said as opposed to actually what's going on around you. Um, you know, it's, it's an actor's dream. I mean, I could sit and watch these scenes. These scenes could be 20 pages long. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I just I just love the dialogue so much. Graham and, and Chris Provenzano, Ben Cabell, all of them, Dave Antron, all these guys are, are just uh, at the top of their game. Taylor, Taylor Elmore, all of them. Boy Crowder, such a he's such a contradiction. Um, yeah, you know, I he seemed like he actually was devout and religious for a couple seasons. Do you think he really believes? Oh, I, I think he believed, you know, for sure. Yeah, but I, I think he's a man in transition, and uh, you know, he's a man who lives uh, in extremes, uh, and and his journey will will be one of equilibrium, you know, hopefully. And what would you look for in an original pilot from a new writer? You know, it's interesting. People now, as, as you would know, you, you don't write specs for other shows so much anymore. Everyone wants uh, an original pilot. And really, what I'm always looking for is, you know, that voice. Um, a confidence, a real vision, um, an intelligence, specific characters, interesting situations, a good story, a um, sense of pace. And surprise, I remember someone telling me that in a good screenplay or, or a, a teleplay, uh, there should be a surprise every page in one way or the other. It's just something you find out about a character or something a character does or an event or whatever. But it, you need it to always be surprising. We always look for the unexpected. We look for the unexpected and yet the inevitable. And so that, that's where it takes us. How has your character in the show evolved as far as the writing and the crafting of the story? Well, it stayed consistent. I mean, in that I'm just as entertained and interested, you know, going to work oh, yes. as I was when we first started.
doing something uh, like Arlo. Arlo is very surface. He talks. He's out. He expresses what he's experiencing as opposed to meditating upon it or being introspective. He, ta he, he acts upon people with his words immediately. He responds immediately. He's not uh, what you would call a deep person who would mull over something for a long period of time. Everything is instantaneous and sometimes the judgment is antisocial. He'll kill somebody without thinking about it, you know, and talk uh, while he's doing it. I've been in show business a long time. You start making plans, you're fucked.